Bucks is wrestling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown ups and a beautiful family. Just thank you for the support. Um, being able to help heal yourself during the dark, darkest time and being able to share your, your loving energies towards other people that are struggling um, to get towards their their blessings as well is truly a blessing for us you know we need to be more out there like that um pushing out love and light towards people you know that they, they feel like they've been in the dark for too long and being able to help uplift them as you're doing yourself is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, um, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi. You know, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family or friend or even a fellow empath that needs spiritual guidance as well as need confirmation or validation toward their life path or soul purpose, go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support and i hope you're able to uh resonate with the content of my video and today my background meditation music i'm using is called mystical water caves 417 hertz wipe out negative uh negative energy from inside and out and it fits perfectly with the content of my video um and i will post that link in the description box below Twin, uh, Twin Flames 101, hey, Okas, don't give anyone or anything more power than you would give yourself. I've seen that on a post, and I'm like, yes, that is so true. You know, we, we can all go through our, our times of struggle, our times of hardship, and it can really be messed up as soon as I said it's like 222. Uh, being, going through these things is like a learning experience, and I know it's hard when, we're, especially when we're in human form, we take things personal, you know. You could be pushing out a lot of positivity, um, going through trial and error of our path of like self-discovery. You know, we go through a lot of different things. It's like, especially when you've gone through spiritual awakenings, things will be popping off left and right. Especially if you're going through uh, the dark night of the soul, it seems like you can never catch a break because you're catching it left, right, left, right, left, right. And it's just like, you're like, damn, why do I keep going through these things? It's all about what we press our energy into. And I have to really tell myself that because there's so many things that has happened in my life. And, you know, I tend to look at it as it was being, being punished. And a lot of things, it was really messed up if you've been with me for a while you know a lot about these things because it is really took an effect on me in a mental spiritual just all the way around it just messed me up you know losing a parent is you know really hard really 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 hard but just knowing people intervened on the fact of that it was really messed up but then when I took myself back I'm really looking at everything from a different perspective you know um being able to see the strength I've gotten from my tragic situation, being able to use myself as that uh, person that can be able to open my life up and tell people the experiences I've went through just because who I was related to, you know, it's helped so many people in different ways, you know, letting you know, God, dog, if she was able to deal with all this, you know, yeah, it's nothing easy about losing anybody in your life, you know, anything that has been tragic to you to where you are still you know stuck on that certain situation it, it's like you can't change it you know it, it's just like certain things had to happen a certain way for you to be able to you know accomplish certain things and that might be hard at that time you know there's people that you know we can see like on social media has lost you know loved one you know children passing away from you know cancer and stuff like that you know somebody dying from cancer it could be you know your wife your husband one of your children you know all these different things occur in our life where we're like god why <laughs> you know why and there's just a lot of times we we have to remain focused on something positive you know we always talk about what we're afraid of or what we don't want happening and then there's a lot of times we put so much energy on the negative like we don't want this to happen or we're afraid of this you never supposed to be putting out in the universe or even have it cross your mind but what us being in human form is bound to happen 
you know, even when I talk to certain people, you know, they were like, well, I'm afraid. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, they were like, why'd you do that? It was so rude. I said, I had to stop you because you're putting this out to the universe, which you are not, you know, you always want to say, I hope this, you know, this thing gets better. You know, don't focus on the situation or why you're in this situation. Because a lot of times it's like if we post our energy on things that are happening to us, you know, way you know, you're in certain toxic situations, it, you know, that's where your main focus is on. Yeah, you're, you're surprised you won't have a lot of mishaps coming along the way because where your focus and your energy on is in the wrong place. You know, you need to have, and I have to tell myself this a lot, you know, you can use an example without having to go in to a broader perspective of everything that happens. You just have to say, you know, when I'm talking to people one-on-one -on -one and they're going through tragic situations, I learn from these things. It's a blessing to me that whoever I talk to, I always try to send, you know, positive situations to them because they have spent their life with people talking down to them, telling them, oh, you'll never amount to much. You know, this is all you're good for. You know, just a little negative things. It's not going to help nobody accomplish anything. You be, keep hearing those things as you grow up. You're going to pretty much start believing it as in yourself. You know, I used to think the reason why I was going through situations with my family is because something was wrong with me. And actually it wasn't, it was totally opposite, even though there was certain, you know, certain things I've done. I don't try not to, you know, press blame on them all the time because there was decisions I made as well. So I can't just put it on them. There's a lot of things I could have did differently that I didn't do, but it was all a lifelong lesson down my path for me to see how things can get really out of hand if you allow them to you know there's certain people like oh you know this person got me stressing out or this person is pissed me off or this person nobody can allow nothing if you don't let them you know there's a lot of times you have to just walk away you know if you see there's a person that's just negative in your life you have to be able to cut that off you're like look you bring in too much dark energy me too he much heaviness that is not you know you know, bringing growth to me or even towards yourself. You know, I've done this. I, I was a vampire, you know, energy vampire. I used to stay stuck on certain things that happened to my life because it's like, you know, after my father passed away and then found out, you know, my my family knew about this whole situation the whole time. It really put me in a, in a dark place. But now it's like when I, you know, I, I'm in this situation and I see what it hit it can really do damage to a person there's a lot of times where I felt blessed because I feel like anybody else in my certain predicament and you know your family has known certain things I mean I hear about crime daily a lot <laughs> you know there's certain people don't kill their family over some you know it wasn't even that serious type stuff so I can just imagine what can happen towards somebody else if they were in my shoes so it's just like I have to tell God thank you for me and not allowing to go off of my anger and do something that was temporary for a permanent decision. I'm blessed for that. You know, I try to use my situation, my tragic situation to be able to help and uplift other people. You know, we're here for a reason. Things happen to us a reason. You know, we go through really tragic situations where we were abused. It doesn't matter what kind of abuse it is. You know, it can do something to a person. You never know what kind of damage you have done to that person. You know, there's things that I'm still healing from. You know, my children's been through a lot because I pass that on to them. Not as well as what I had occurred, but it's almost as bad anyway. When you, you know, when you react, you know, you say certain things. It's like I didn't put my hands on them, but I felt like if I say something, they'll be, you know, better than me put my hands on but I had to look you know words can hurt as well you can't take those things back so there's a lot of things that you know I push up for the for forefront you know nobody's perfect we go through things like this all the time but it's just like you know your strength when you're able to admit your mistakes and you're trying to make them better you know you're trying to heal and try to find better ways of communication and stuff like that I you know I'm I'm you know I'm talk I talk to people they go through you know certain situations that I can remember I went through and I try to give them the best advice I can possible you know if it's something you know petty that you can probably sit down and have communication for it's better to do that you know my situation I didn't get that choice my my life was you know decided for me and so there's people that has passed on or there's people they got the mixed information about me that either has not even allowed me to be able to tell my part and there are some of them that has passed away so you know I always tell people if you know you can have that 
you know, you can be in that forefront and be able to tell people how you feel without, you know, yelling, bickering and stuff like that, you know, go ahead and do that, you know, especially when it comes to parents, you know, my, my father's passed away, my birth mom, you know, I don't know what's been said to her, but, you know, our communication is blocked, but I have that gut feeling, you know, those uh, family members, they try to press that same thing upon my dad about me. They did it to my mom as well. My dad didn't want to take their, you know, they, he seen how they were. So he allowed himself to, you know, he was like, Dad, you know, you're nothing like what they said, you know. And I never knew what the heck was going on, but it's just like after everything was said and done, things started falling into place like, oh, this is what, that's why he said certain things or this is why it's been said. But it's just like being able to go through that daily process every day. And I tell people, when you have tragic situations, knowing every day you try to make yourself a better person, not to be able, you have to be able to say, you know what, this has had to happen. Let me find that positive in this tragic situation. You have to be able to do that. You know, seeing what, what is this trying to, you know, what is this situation trying to teach me? What is my, my situation that I went through helping me learn? You know, what my situation, I had to be able to let go. You know, let go and let God and universe handle the things. You know, there's a lot of answers I need. I want closure so bad. You know, wanting to meet my biological family that I've been placed apart from. You know, not knowing what has been said about me for me not to be able to be with my family. You know, knowing things that's happened in the dark, they might, you know, sooner or later it's going to come to light. Those are all the things that I'm working on with myself to better myself in so many different ways. You know, it's a blessing when I've had these things occur to me to be able to use this to help others, you know, find their, you know, their strength in, in a, a bad situation. And we have to do that. You know, it's just like with my situation, it was, I was always angry. You know, I never let things go. I mean, like I said before in prior videos, you can be dead and I'm still having that, you know, <laughs> oh, well, you, they did that just like Rosalind they can't do anything. They did. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm still going to feel that way. I'm like, mm, God rest their soul, you know, you know, but now I'm just like, you know, <laughs> you need to go ahead and let that go. I mean, it ain't going to do nothing except keep you in the same place you are so desperately trying to get the hell away from. A lot of times thing hit, things just have to happen, you know, in our life where, you know, your patience is being tried. You know, your faith is being tried. You know, love. If you want to be able to have love, you have to be able to forgive people that have did things to you. You know, because it's just like you can't hold on to things like that. And I always see my dad, you know, he, he would have to let go of a lot of things. You know, somebody will say something to him. And he's like, oh, okay, it's forgiven. You know, he's just going, oh, what the hell? You know, and it's just like with me, I had to be that same way too. It's just like because you press your energy on dark things about how people are. If you know that they're doing things towards you that it's like becoming a habit, this is the time you need to separate from. It is. You know, how I have family just constantly, you know, if they weren't talking about my past, you know, they would tell my kids about certain things. I should have had that right to tell, but they weren't telling about the reason why I was the way I was. They didn't make sure they didn't tell that part, but they told what I did. You know, it was a lot of different things that I went through. But like I've told them, and, you know, I tell you, I was glad I went through this situation. Yes, I had to take my father as a loss because of this. But if this situation never came about, I would have never knew the strength I had in myself. You know, to be able to say, I be damn if I let anybody else use and abuse me like that. I put boundaries up. If you are no kind of good to my life and that's what you're trying to praise on my life because you are upset about certain things in my life, I say, yeah, you got to take that up with God. <laughs> that ain't my fault because at the end of the day I'm gonna still be related to who I'm related to and I'm gonna still be doing me you know I'm I'm learning I'm growing I'm evolving you know I'm trying to spread love towards other people allow you to know life is too damn short <laughs> for you to be placing your energy on negative situations especially things you can't change you know you only can change yourself you can't change how people see you you know they're gonna see what they want to you can explain all day they're gonna understand their only perception of it you know, you can say until you're blue in the face, you know, especially if people see you as being intimidating, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. Like I have my situation, there's people that don't care for me, but there are certain situations where people like Rosalind, you have done, you have helped me so much. I don't want nothing in return. It's just the things that, you know, people like, oh, Rosalind, if I could ever pay you, 
you being able to be in your right mind to know that okay i can understand why this happened now you when you have peace and love in your heart to know that okay i'm not crazy there's somebody who can can uh, explain this to me you know now i know the reason why i went through that that's my blessing in return for me to know that you're happy even though you might not be in the most perfect situation right now but when you can get that peace and understanding in your heart and know you you can be anything you apply yourself to but it's how you do it it, that's where you know the true you know the, the growth comes from you can't you know there's a lot of things that you know people have done to us but you have to understand as well as I had to you know things happen for a reason you know a lot of things we're not going to understand why people are the way they are but you shouldn't allow somebody else's ignorance towards you keep you in that dark place because it's like life is too short you need to be happy you know, yes, there's a lot of things that's happened to us, but you are not a product of what happened to you. You know, you have to be that, ba you know, that billboard of a person that had all these tragedies, but you overcome everything that has been placed upon your life. And I pray for everybody, that, especially when you sit up here and tell me the things that's happened in your life, it will break my heart. And I'll be like, God, please allow them to get out that place because I know there are certain things that have been placed on your life that have you looking at the world and people all in a different way. And that's sad. You know, it was, it was really sad. And a lot of people get mad at me or like about that because I'm trying to bounce back so fast. And a lot of people feel intimidated by that because they they feel, I guess they feel like they can't do it or whatever. I try not to figure folks out like that. <laughs> you know, people will just be people, but I have to keep moving. But don't allow yourself to put more energy on something negative or something that you just can't change. Put that energy on you and your growth and your, you know, your, you know, you evolving you know, you are sending. Those are the things you need to press your energy on. I have to tell myself that every day. You know, there's a lot of people going to have opinions about you. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to doubt you. Don't allow that. That that should be your main motivation for your come up. Just so they can't be saying that mess about you no more. Because when you get where you got to get, what they're going to say then? Because they knew that you had it in you, but they just didn't want you to discover that in you. So you have to allow yourself to keep doing what you need to do to better yourself. Don't worry about them folks because they're going to still be the same way trying to find another person that they can intimidate. So don't allow those things to get in your way. You press your energy on something that's going to give you growth. That's going to give you more value towards your life than you had before. You know, you're in no competition with nobody else. Your journey is your journey. If they don't understand your journey, it wasn't meant for them to understand your journey. As long as you know where you're going, that's the only importance. You validate yourself. Don't worry about how people see you. You know, you validate, you validate yourself. What you feel about yourself and how you feel like you're about to change something, that's what makes a difference. But I hope you were able to relate to this video i hate to talk about negative stuff but if the universe has me you know talk about it i'm gonna go ahead and talk about it so i hope you have a blessed safe sunday and everything you do send out as much love and light as you possibly can i'm gonna go ahead and give a post notification shout out to bzell much love to you you know welcome to the family well, i already told you welcome to the family but i'm gonna say it again you know, drop a, drop a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. Share the channel. It's greatly appreciated. I love the support. Uh, I hope that everything that you are trying so desperately to get to comes into fusion for you. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. Your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.